Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be planning in my social media planner for the week of March 18th through the 24th. And I am planning in the Girl Gang Happy Planner. With my social media planner, it is very functional. Like this is a spread that I did a few weeks ago. And then there was another spread here. There's my social media planner. I had way more categories, but as of late, I have been only doing three categories. A YouTube one, an Instagram one, and just like daily tasks. And that's just a lot easier for me to, to decorate and not like spend so much time decorating. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pages out. So I want this week's spread to be super girly. So I think I'm gonna try to use, I'm gonna try to use a Simply Lovely sticker book. This is one of the new sticker books from the spring release. And I'm gonna probably incorporate some of these um, Paper Studio sticker books from their um, LOL lines. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. They just have some super girly and pretty things in there. Um, and since this is going up on Monday, which is Makeup Monday on my channel, I wanted something that's gonna be like super girly and have some elements in there that are makeup related. So this week I'm not doing like the makeup and wig fusion like um, I said I was gonna do last week. I'm still gonna be doing that on my channel, just not, not today. Um, on my channel today, I have a braided wig update and I'm going to have this on there. So, so the first thing I want to do is cover up this section here. And what I do is I use the Avery label paper. It's, it has adhesive on the back. And I got the idea from planning with Bumble. That's just like a great idea because they always have this area over here with this uh, get it done box and then they have a little lady down there. But in some weeks I work with it but I don't want that all the time. All right, I found it. So this is what it is, the Avery shipping labels. It's like the whole sheet, it's the eight and a half by 11. I got this from Amazon. I can leave a link down below if you guys wanna get some but you can just probably find this at the store but I already wrote on this oh no I can use that cover this whole area over here even the little date right there because I really don't look at that I'll just look at my um monthly spread if I want to know you know a certain date in the future or in the past in March So what I do is I just take a pencil and I'll just put a little mark here. I'm sure it's like an easier way to do this y'all, but this isn't that hard for me to do it the way that I do. I'll get my ruler, make sure everything is, the pencil line is lined up how I want it to be. And I'll just draw a line across. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut that. I need some different scissors. All right, I'm gonna erase those pencil lines. Now I know there's other like, there's like a paper cutter, but I don't have one. So good old scissors work just fine too. Um, now with this label paper, it's at like an angle. So sometimes it can be a pain because once it's stuck to this paper, if you don't have it right the first time, it's just kind of messed up like that forever. 
So I'm gonna try and hopefully get it right the first time. Okay. Okay, that's gonna work. All right. That's probably the best I've ever done with this because I'm, I'm always messing up with this. So in this planner or in this sticker book, there is a lot of like mints and teal. I was going to put some washi over those lines, but I think that some of those stickers go well with that. So I'm not going to do that. So the first thing that I need to set up is the boxes. I need one for YouTube, Instagram, and daily tasks. So I'm going to look and see what kind of boxes or what kind of boxes they have. This is a pretty sticker book. Well, first off, I'm going to put these like star atmosphere stickers so i'm gonna figure out how i want that to be and then i'm gonna flip this over and cut that off I need to cut that again. Is it coming up? Yes, it is. Okay, I can save that for something else. And then I'm going to do this a couple more times. Excited that I'm finally getting to make planner videos. Planning is something that is just, I love it so much the decorative part of it and it's helping me keep up with a lot of things like i'm not like perfect and have perfect organization and everything but it's helping me do a little bit better so if you need a little bit of help with organizing your events or different tasks or whatever you have going on then definitely try to get a planner regardless if it's a happy planner or not i really like the happy planner but there's a ton of different planners out there so Find which one fits you. I'm gonna make this really functional, but a little bit more um, decorative than I than I normally do. Like I don't usually put text boxes and stuff in my social media planner, except for like the categories. But I think I'm gonna put some text boxes in this one. Something more. No, we can do that. I'll probably just go with. This one to start off with. Ooh, I don't like how that looks. It's like it's too, it's too big. I think I might take these and cut them just a little bit. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. Because sticking with like a few sticker books is, it just makes my life easier. Because usually when I'm planning, like normally planning and not on camera, I use a ton of different sticker books, but it makes it a lot easier in general. I'm going to use this one here. Okay. I can use this. 
Now this, these hearts are supposed to be um, for bullets, but it can also be interpreted as just like a pattern. So I think that's fine too. I'm going to start, I'm gonna look through these sticker books and start putting some of the ladies on there, on here. He looks fierce. Let's put her on there. This one right here. I'm so glad I picked this up. I got this sticker book from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's $9, but it was 50% off. Everything from this line was. And usually when I'm going to Hobby Lobby, I'm like obsessing over Happy Planner stuff that I don't even look around at different brands. So I'm just gonna, like this is my daily task area. I usually write the same stuff like reply to comments and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have her. Or do I need any washi tape? I think I want some washi tape before I put her down. Okay, I'm gonna be using this washi tape that I found, this is washi, this is a washi sticker. And it's from the, which one is this? It's from the Boss Babe sticker pack. I tore it, which I'm mad about, but we can make it work. Does that look weird? Is it clashing right there? Probably. My daily task won't take up that whole box. It really won't, so it's fine. I think I want a girl at each little category. Oh, definitely. Definitely gonna use this girl Okay, is it gonna focus? Oh shoot. I definitely wanna use this girl right here. She has on glasses and she's in like a computer chair. So I think that would be cute to be right beside the YouTube category icon. I hope that works. Okay, if we got two here, we need one on this side to kind of stagger it and not have the same thing. All right, we're gonna try one of these latest back here. Now, that would be really good because it's super girly, but I like her. I like that one too. Oh my gosh, this sticker book is good. I'm probably gonna use her in my, this uh, book in my mini this week. That's enough space to write everything. This is cute so far. Here for it. Now I'm gonna go back into my Simply Lovely sticker book. And I'm gonna use some of those like, I don't even know what those things are called. It's kind of like streamers. If you guys know the correct term, then just tell me down below. But these little things right here, they're so cute. So I might start off with this smaller one. Nah, that's too short. I'm just gonna use a longer one and then cut it down.
I'll just use that another time. Okay, so let's look for some functional stickers. This is really, really cute. This is a like a notes pad from the same paper studio collection. That should be fine. I don't want anything that's going to cover up the dates. I'm probably going to redate everything so it looks more like feminine, but or keep it. I'm gonna keep it maybe because I like this perfume but in pictures that's gonna like mess stuff up I think I might keep that for now I want to use these lashes because of makeup Monday I think that would be cute so I'm gonna use this at the top because it's lashes and Mondays are usually for makeup on my channel. So I am gonna put some, my whole spread in my social media planner has to be functional. I can add little cute things here and there, but it has to be functional. I'm gonna put a lot of text boxes um, in this spread. So I know I wanna use this one. And if I don't use like all three of those spots, I'll probably just wipe it out. How does that look on there? I don't know if I like that with this spread exactly. I'm gonna give this perfume bottle another chance and see how it looks. Definitely can't be right beside it because that's just way too much. It can be over here maybe. I don't know, it just looks out of place. I'm not doing that. <sighs> takes me so long to plan because I'm always changing my mind but that's kind of like art you know it is a form of art to me because it's problem solving that's what art is that's what I consider it there's so much problem solving that goes into art and planning this might be cute on here green wash anymore so I'm going to use this color here and see if I like it because I, I changed my mind everything nothing is permanent until like I'm finished that might be weird to you guys but it's just I wanted it to be visually just in some areas have be lighter and not so solid with the same thing. So I'm gonna put a today here. And then, let's see how this plans looks. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. How does this look on here? That black kind of looks, I don't think it's the black that looks harsh. I think it's the flowers that don't really, I don't know if that vibes with it like I want it to. She got flowers beside her, so that would make sense. Okay. This spread might look insane because I'm gonna have to use so many text boxes because I need to write in them. But um, we shall see how it looks. 
So if we have flowers here, I kind of want flowers on this side, but let's see. I'm still gonna need to write in it possibly. Let's put it over here. See how balanced that looks. Cause I'm gonna put a text box over this. Cause right now it's just, all the attention is coming to this sticker here. But I'm gonna see if I add a text box over it that's mainly white, if that's gonna help. I'm gonna go into the first colorful boxes. I use this one all the time. So I'm gonna use this one. Now I'm probably gonna use some more of these. I need some more stuff. That lightened it up. You see how that lightened it up? So I'm gonna use that. See if any other, other colors in here goes with this color scheme. This salmon color, or kind of like red orange, goes with it. I use most of my black text boxes. So we have black down here. I actually think we need something a little bit more simple. I think some simple boxes are always good because it kind of balances things out even when you have like a decorative spread. I feel a little better about that. And if I want it to be just a tad bit more decorative, I can use a little bit of this washi sticker here. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna press that down and just take that off. And I can put this down here. If it fits. Yes, purple. Pretty much perfect if I slide it over. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. So, since those two are... I don't want to space that out. I just, I don't know if these stickers just work with it anymore. The ones that just say playing on it. I don't think I like that. Not right beside each other. So, I'm going to use... Go back in my colorful boxes book. Let's see what we got in here. Should it be black or can it be this color? I think I want black again. Cause the washi is that red orange color. Let's go back to black. It says Seagull, Slay Goal, Repeat. 
I want to put it on here somewhere. Let's see how that looks. On camera, it's not going to come off well because it's the letters are gold foil, which is kind of annoying a little bit, but it's going to be okay. I'll show you how that looks. Ooh, ooh. This kind of goes with this. This kind of um, soft mint green. I pour it, but I can still use it. I might use it over here because really on Sundays I don't post that much. So I might, this might be like a no film day or where I'm just editing. So I'll put that on there. Put that here. How's that? And I can put today at the top. That looks good. Oh, I can do some of these list, some of these bullet things or bullet stickers. So I'm going to see if I can use this to do, I'm going to see if I can use this to do sticker with a lipstick on there. This is a, just like a sticky note that I might have to trim down. Ugh. Let me use these, this ruler. How does that look? Looks pretty cute, I think so. So let's... It's wild that I'm even using the, the Paper Studio stickers that I have on here, because I just got them today, and usually with my stickers, I have to like look through them and you know, live with them for a little bit before I start using them. But I just jumped in it today. I'm gonna add a girl in here cause usually I'm not really doing too much stuff on Sundays in the daily task section. That's cute, the girl that's sitting on the couch. Cause that's usually what I'm doing on Sundays. I'm chilling. That's really cute. Um, okay, let's get back to these. And I have a double of this colorful sticker box, uh, sticker boxes, sticker book because I use it so much. Is that good? Yep. That is good. Okay, I like these that say today. All right, so I ran out of space and I put down that to-do sticker. Hmm, we're almost done. So I'm just gonna put a few more things on here and then we'll be good to go. I'm gonna put some more of these gold 
list things on here. I'm gonna put a box here because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough things to do on Instagram to even. Oh, I'm gonna use a flower behind it and then put that text box over it. Okay, I'll put that down. Or is it covering it too much? I... I like this one that says, you have purpose. I think that's cool. I'm going to put the you have purpose right here. I think that's really nice. I might want to put something over here too. Which one I like the most. Let's see how this good days only looks. I think that's pretty cute. I think I might just be done right now. I think that is a lot of decoration like compared to my other social media planner uh, spreads. This is a lot of decoration. So I'm not gonna do like my after the pen stuff like, like filling in all my tasks, but I'm gonna fill in my categories for you guys. Uh, this category is YouTube. YouTube and this one is Instagram Instagram post. YouTube uploads. I don't know if I'm gonna say uploads or videos. Yeah, I'm gonna do videos, YouTube videos. This is for like uploads and like videos I have to edit and stuff. It's just all YouTube related. And then down here is daily tasks. All right guys, so here is my spread and my social media planner for this week. Got a lot of foil on there, so it's gonna be hard to photograph. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video. I have one more to go and it's going to be in my mini. And then we are going to start up the, then we're going to start up on the Heart Snip Plan YouTube channel instead of just having it on my beauty channel. Cause I want my beauty channel to stay hair, makeup, fashion, and just lifestyle. But I want my planner page to be all about my, my planning. So uh, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.